Hey guys, welcome back to the Cult of Vintage. It is Michael Todd, the one and only. Uh, so today we are at a relatively new place for me. I've only ever been here twice before. We are at Sunbury Station and it is in Sunbury, Pennsylvania. It was formerly the train station for this little town of Sunbury, Pennsylvania, and they've converted it into an antique store. Yes, you said antique store because you can find good deals at an antique store. You sure can. As a matter of fact, you can find some better deals, in my opinion, for what it's worth at an antique store. Everything's been curated, you know, like we're not going to have to sift through things. We're not going to have to hope like we're going to find stuff in here. No doubt. The question is, are we going to be able to find it for resale? Who knows? Chances are we'll, we'll find stuff for collections, no doubt, and probably some really good deals for collections. But, well, let me just go ahead and zip it, and let's get to why we're really here. Let's go shopping, folks. Heck yeah. Okay, guys, so here we are outside of the Sunbury Station. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Um, okay. Let me not kill myself. We're going to go over the railroad tracks and we're going to head right up front to that open sign. Yes, we're literally crossing the railroad tracks. We keep it dangerous at the Cult of Vintage. Let's get inside, shall we? Whoa. Okay, guys, so we are inside here. Now, this is just the first of places. I just talked to the owner and he said, you're going to be excited because there's a lot of new stuff that's been added in. So I'm super excited to see. Look, they like it rusty, crusty and dusty too. We're not mad at it, are we? And look, I don't know. Look, 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 something new that's been added. He's got Miss Pac-Man and you know what he did? He set it to free play. Let's check it out. Okay, so we got a great booth here, or vendor, I guess. Look at these jardiniers, or planters, if you will. I love those green and brown drip glazes. We've got some carnival glass, some Roseville. But what really piqued my interest over here, look at that. Look at that leaping gazelle and that green glaze. Now, it is a planter. Let me try to... It is a planter as well as a lamp. Oh no, it is just a lamp. Hmm. Now I th would have thought for sure, see they said the lighted planter. I don't know how I feel about putting my light bulbs in with my plants. I mean, hey, live your life. Who am I to judge? I'm just a little worried about your safety. You know what I'm saying? This is for my Misty and this is for my Barb. Ladies, this is the first time I've ever found a Rushton in the wild. Now he is, now he is, now he does have his Coca-Cola bottle too. Look at his little yellow, how much? Oh God, are we gonna get him? Are we gonna get him? I don't know. $90, you know what? <laughs> That's really not that bad at all. He's in really good condition. And he's got that Coke bottle. Oh, look at his little boots. Y'all. Ooh. He'd be a good fix-up project. Like, I know, I know. Missy's like, how dare you? But I really feel like this would come up nice and clean. Maybe a future DIY project is in, the, in our future, folks. I love it. Oh, look at that old YMCA, that varsity jacket there. Look at all the bottles, the lanterns. Got a lot of great stuff. Ooh, look at him. Little Mexican wood. Now he's wood, he's not a Tanala. Well, I mean, he is very reminiscent of Tanala, but he is wood. I like. Okay, so I did find some great marble or agate. I believe this is marble. Um, bookends here with the minstrels on them, the brass minstrels. Those are fantastic. Now, I didn't see a price, but 
down here, we've got a great little Art Deco compact. It's only $5, you guys. Tell me right there, that is a deal. We're probably gonna get that. Down here, we've got a little Snow White in the Seven Drawers lithograph tin. $8 again. Don't tell me you can't find a deal. Okay, guys, so we're going to walk back here a little bit. A little bit. We're going to walk back all the way. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. Be like, okay, the tour's over. Oh, here we have some beautiful Monax glass. Now, this is a, this was produced only by Macbeth Evans. It's American Sweetheart, that is correct. It is a depression glass. But let's get it. Oh, it's bright, but do you see the beauty of that? Look at that. This is the only kind of depression glass that always catches my eye. I actually have this piece, and at $12, <laughs> that is an amazing, amazing deal. But all of them are like that. I have this, I have a serving plate, sugar, creamer. Love it. Look at these guys. Beautiful. $15, the ceramic. Look at that. Ooh, felted. Here we have some red Fenton, a hobnail candy dish. Pretty. I always love holding that up to the light. Oh my gosh. Now that's a fair collector price. That's not gonna be for us, darn it. <laughs> oh, look at these. Um, $15 for the pair. Um, well, we're gonna go ahead and get that for the pair and uh, hopefully somebody out there enjoys them. Look at that. They're gonna go in our basket. Okay, we're back on this shelf because I had to set down the basket, but look at this set here. Are these donkeys? Yeah, I feel like they're donkeys. It's $14 for this set. It's a Grand Canyon. Oh my God, it's the Grand Canyon. Look, it's the donkeys you would ride down to the bottom of the canyon with. You would never catch me doing that, trusting a donkey, walking down that rickety little trail. Not gonna happen. Got some skunk salt and pepper shakers. $9 for the pair, that's not that bad. It's a little, little, little tight for me, but. Some planters. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted by this. But $14, I mean, it is the full set. It is the Grand Canyon, it's, you know, look at. That's adorable. We're gonna think about that. Okay guys, so I did wanna show you, look at this beautiful jadeite. I'm gonna call it a boudoir lamp. Now it is of course missing its shade, but it's still in amazing condition. We do have some blue stretch glass. It's a candy dish back here. We do have of course some uranium sherbet glasses or berries if you would prefer. Uh, here we do have a daisy and button, a Vaseline glass dish, some luster. We've got a little, ooh, are you a jadeite mixing bowl for $14? No, it's not marked Fire King, but it's still that beautiful jadeite green. And what I'm most excited to show you is up in this booth. 
Look at this. Jade Eight Marbles. Have you ever? Now it is twenty-five dollars, but I've never seen Jade Eight Marbles before. I'm gonna have to look those up, see what's going on with that. Okay guys, so here we have the Jade Eight Marbles, and yes, you do see the flashlight handy because I wanna show you something in case you weren't aware. Now here we do have a bag of marbles. So it's a pretty substantial bag. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down here because I wanna show you something. See, we do have a couple of jadeites in here, but am I on? Yeah, I thought for sure, you see, there are in fact uranium glass marbles. Here we have another one. Look at that. This one's just really glowing. Now we do have a couple more up here, but I don't think, let's see if we can get back in here. Yeah, I don't think we really have any other uraniums. But I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted to show you. Okay guys, check out this fantastic vendor. Number one, Look at the sun-kissed advertisement. Look at the circus, the Cole Brothers Circus, the chimpanzee, world's largest, apparently, chimpanzee. There is some fantastic things. Look at this lithograph. The Pinocchio. Hmm. Looks like there's a Jeanette powder dish, the swan. Oh, we've got some Bonzo dog salt and peppers. It's $5 for the set. We're going to totally get those. And look at this cow here, the salt and pepper. $20. That's really good, though. It's a little tight for me, but oof, if I collected salt and pepper shaker sets, I'd snatch that up in a heartbeat for $20, you guys. That's a deal. Ooh. What, 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 what would a cult of vintage be without some creepy creeperton lurking on us? Okay, wooden boy. Apparently the blue fairy didn't come visit you, did she? Oh, and of course, look at this little weirdo. I always think of him from Toy Story. Should that be the thumbnail? Hello, hi, how are ya? Welcome to my world. Okay guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick overview of this booth over here. Isn't it? I just love the aesthetic of this setup. Isn't it beautiful? Like you just got such a great dichotomy of interesting items. You've got the rustic, the primitive or colonial, if you will. And then we pan over. You've got a little Pyrex, some Jadeite. Coming up here, I did see the, yeah, that cat planter, she's adorable, she's $8. I did see, sorry, I did see these little Scotty figurines, they're adorable, they're $18 each, which again, <laughs> you guys, that's a fantastic collector's price. You know, so far as reselling, nah, you know, not where I want it to be, but if I collected Scotty dogs, they'd both be in my basket. Now I did want to show you, look at these beauties, these lamps here, this set of boudoir. Now they need a little bit of cleaning, but don't you love 
the color. Again, here's that thing where we're talking about clear glass. It's $28. Oh, it's $28 for the pair. You guys. Ooh. But that clear glass with a little bit of the green. Isn't it beautiful? Wouldn't those look lovely on your bedside? I think they're fantastic. That's definitely something I'm going to have to think about. That might be a, a uh, add it to my collection type of thing. Okay, guys, so here we are upstairs. We just want to give you a quick little panorama tour here, and then we'll get into it in a little bit more detail. So I guess let's just go ahead and start right over here. Now I see something. It's a little Austria, or is it English? Hmm. This beauty here. Let's see before I get too excited. $70, your Royal Dalton. I love that color combination. Isn't she a beauty? Yep, you are Royal Dalton. She's a pretty one. That would be a personal collection item. <laughs> uh, let's see. A little bit of Roseville. Oh, Royal Crown Derby, I see. The quails. Are they pretty? I think those are lovely. All right. Let's see what else we got. Hmm. What's going on? Oh. Hmm. These, they have, what did they say? Salt and pepper shakers, Holt Howard. Are they though? They are. And look, wait. What? <laughs> I've never seen those before. $30. I'm going to run a comp on those and see what's going on. Back here, we actually have another piece of Holt Howard. This I know for sure. 1958, she's 45. Fair enough. Some pretty pieces down here. Sonorataki. Some cranberry souvenir back here. Look at that ketchup bottle coming up. What? Okay, Hunt. Interesting. <laughs> you know I'm super excited about those linens over there, but I'm going to hold out. We're not going to cheat. We're going to take it vendor by vendor. Ooh, it's a leather poodle. My, is this a dream pet? It's a leather poodle. Hmm, bet you have a story to tell, don't you? We might get that. I mean, that was only five bucks. Oh, uh, a lot of Avon. Oh, there's a bitters bottle. How much? Ball and claw bitters. $7. I'm going to get that. <clears throat> You're not going to focus, huh? There we go. B 
be, well, you're really not going to focus, huh? Well, let's go ahead and set it down, and maybe we can get it to focus. There we go. It's a pretty amethyst. You see? It's got a bird foot on it. And it does say bitters. Chia. But that's not really going to read well, is it? So we'll get that for seven. Ooh, hey, here's some treasure craft. A Montana bear ashtray. Cute. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Boy, you're being hateful today, aren't you, camera? I'll have to see about that. Let me look that up. Okay, we're back. So I've, I've decided, though, even though this is $8, I am going to go ahead and pass on it. I know some of you are out there screaming. Um, again, we're at Sunbury Station, Sunbury, Pennsylvania, so it can be yours if you'd like to make the, the trip or if you're local. Um, I'm just not super excited about it, to be honest with you. I think it's cool. I like that it's treasure craft. I like that it's a bear. It's cool that it says Montana. My thing with it is, is that, in my opinion, the souvenir pieces, because they are so specific, a lot of people, unless there's some kind of sentimental attachment to the state of Montana or an experience or a memory, or if you currently live there, um, it's just, it's so specific that it doesn't really appeal to a broader market. If this wasn't here, maybe it had like some kind of like a, um, a pine kind of motif. I probably would pick it up, especially for the $8 because it wouldn't be so specific, but we're going to go ahead and leave that for somebody else to love. So here we are at our next booth. going to see what we can't find in here, shall we? Ooh, I see littles up here. Let's see. Let's make sure I don't trip over anything. Some little bitties. Look at this cat band. The cat band is $12. I love this little pig. It very much reminds me of the Disney um, Silly Symphonies. Is he playing baseball? Or does he have a flute? He is, oh, he's a shaker. Drats, if only he had his other. Are these marked? Japan? No. We do have our Native American salt and pepper shakers. I believe I actually already have these, so I will leave them. <laughs> Otherwise, I would snatch those up for myself, not going to lie. <laughs> Look at the car here with the bottle and the little... Are we going to call this cordial? Shall we call it cordial? Because we're sophisticated and we wouldn't take shots. No, that's a shot glass. We're not sophisticated. That's adorable. Look, it's a little Rolls Royce. Oh, it is, isn't it? It is. Let's see what you have on here. $40, that's really good, how dry I am. It's musical too? Y'all, you know that's a deal. Ooh, look at this over here. Movie posters. Um, do we have a date? I'm not seeing a date. Let's just take a, ooh. That's, that's a silent, yeah, 1917. Lovely. Uh, uh. Oh, wow. You know what, let me see if I can't. Ah, there we go. We can all breathe a sigh of relief now. You guys, I mean... Wow, 
this is great. We're just gonna kind of, uh, a ticket to hell. Oh, honey, I wrote it, so. Shirley Temple, Wee Willy Winkle. Now showing you'll never get rich. But, oh, way to be optimistic. Dead Reckoning. Let's do one more, shall we? And let's find out how much this bad boy is. Oh, well. Well, I get we're going to stop at the seven-year itch. So let's see. Is there a price on you, little? That's big, too. $15. I feel like you could pull out the pages and sell some of those images for $15 each, right? What are you here? Oh no, is this really a candle? No, is it soap? from 1975. It's definitely Looney Tunes Porky Pig. Make bath time fun. Okay, so it is Porky Pig vintage soap. Um, don't know that I would use it. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you would, well, you know. Again, we're not here to judge. Oh, that's the carpet. That was a lot of fun. Beautiful, wasn't it? Let's see. Well, hello there, holy family. How are we doing? Not a whole lot to see there. <laughs> Who are you? Four dollars. Oh, jeez. Meh, meh. Oh, I see a little Arnart. A little yellow Arnart lamb. He's $20. Now, he would have had, or she, you know, he, I think it's a he. He would have had babies. He got sick of them. He said, get out. I'm tired of you kids. We see a little bulldog up here. No, yeah, you're a French French bulldog. Fifteen dollars. He's cute. Uh, USA pottery, strawberry pitcher. That's pretty. <gasps> Ooh, I love this. Yes, I sure did. You did hear me get excited. You know, this is the second time that Whitney Houston has been playing while I'm out trying to vintage shop. Whitney, I miss you, girl. Let's see what else we can find here. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, what's what's are what's are you? <laughs> Antique Art Deco. I could read the front. Oh, this you guys, I think there's something in it. No, I'm not gonna open it. I don't feel three flowers dusting powder. Mm-hmm, what you dusting, girl? Okay, so over here I saw something really interesting. And that were these, yes, that is a Fiesta Ware bud vase. But that's not what we're going after. We are checking out these little rhinestone elephant salt and pepper shakers. I'm losing my mic, guys. Hold on. So we are checking out these... Little elephant salt and pepper shakers as I knock everything off. But aren't they adorable? No, I'm going to assume, of course, they are Japan Pete. Well, here we go. Whoa. Who is it? Balls. Hmm. No, it's $14 for the set, but there's no chips or cracks. They're not missing any of their little rhinestones. Isn't that a 
adorable. Hmm. <sighs> Let's see. I'm going to run a comp on those and we'll find out what we think about it. So we are back with the ceramic elephant salt and pepper shakers. I... Here's the deal. At $14, could I get them? At $14, do I th think that, you know, I could resell them? I do. The question is, what would I charge? You know, for me, it would be like a $20, $30 price point. And I know that some people might be like, well, Michael, that's really high. And yeah, for some people it would be. And I might be a little hesitant, even myself. However, with the rhinestones on them, they're just the anthropomorphic. They're super kitschy. They're super cute. We're going to take a risk. I don't normally, I'm not usually so risky about my purchases, but I, I'm going to go for it, you guys. Hopefully somebody out there is going to love them. All right, so here we are in our next vendor. Now she's got some lovely doilies. This one is really pretty. It is priced at $6.50. Um, it is here, <laughs> six fifty. Again, a really good deal on that. Now she does have some antique postcards. In particular, this one really caught my eye. This is a German one. I only have two of these, but this is a, a fold out. I wonder. Yeah, made in Germany. Okay. Now it is a fold out. It's obviously seen its better days. It's got some condition issues. And the actual pop out itself or fold out, it it doesn't look to be in really good condition. So even at 750, while that's a good deal, uh, the conditions or issues are really gonna prevent me from getting that one. So here we have like some tea towels over here. Now we do have this really cute embroidered one where I'm unsure as to what this dear girl is doing, but she looks a little spooked by it. <laughs> uh, over here, we've got some beautiful pieces. Again, clear glass, folks, clear glass. It's got a lot of diversity. You can do a lot of things with it. Dress it up, dress it down. It's like a good pair of blue jeans. Never goes out of style, year, wear it year round. Like I said, you wear it up, wear it down, do your thing. And we've got some table runners with a little embroidery on them or dresser scarves if you prefer. This one's really pretty. This It reminds me of like a chrysanthemum. Um, large round woven doily and very fancy crochet trim. I love a good description. You are on point with it. Now you have this one here. This one, the color scheme in particular, really reads Art Deco to me. Three dollars. Wow. Now she is, let's see here. Oh, that's an adorable one, isn't it though? Mm-hmm. That's a good deal on that one, but I am going to leave it. If, if there were more, if there was like a set, if there were smaller ones or there was another larger one, I would, but just getting the one, th there's just not enough impact there for me. Pardon me. I like this green and cream one here too, $4. Not bad at all. What else do we got over here? Some elephants and some buffalo. Mm-hmm. Or bison, pardon me. That's a bison. You're not a buffalo. Ooh, you feel like celluloid. Oh, you're anatomically correct. Excuse me, viewing audience. Ten dollars, that's not bad. His horns are intact. Intact. Little syrup pitcher. Four dollars. Now I really like this bison planter myself. That fifteen dollar. Ooh, he's heavy too. That ain't a cheap and look at that. Isn't he fantastic? He's kind of smirking. He's a little smirky. Hmm. 
I like this little guy over here, this Scotty Planter. $10, it's a fantastic deal for a collector, but you know, for me to resell, not where I would like it to be. And then we do have some vinyl. Oh, I see Mama Cass Elliot over here. Make your own kind of music. Okay guys, well that was Sunbury Station. Again, in Sunbury, Pennsylvania, I really enjoyed it. I think we found some great, uh, unique, kitschy, fun things. I hope you guys enjoyed the shop along with me. Uh, the items will be available soon, of course, in the Three's Company live sales that we have every Tuesday with Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, Misty, and Michelle Comfy Cozy Living, Michelle, you know, my ladies. Um, so yeah. Thanks for tagging along, guys, and again, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.